Hey guys, so just an update on my DSG. Um, I've been working on it a lot lately, trying to get the FPS up. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this gun has had FPS issues almost from the start. I had a period where um, I was getting 305 FPS with an M150, and there's a video on, um, on my channel. About two months back, um, I was doing that. And then I changed a few parts, um, I upped it to 64 RPS, um, and then something happened. It wasn't, wasn't shooting as hot anymore. And I narrowed down the issue, and over time I, I found out I was having a voluming issue. Uh, so what I ended up doing was, I am now using a shorter barrel, a Mad Bull 220mm, I believe, 603. Um, I also uh, took out, I, uh, for the piston, for the AOE, I was using 70D Sorbo and two neoprene pads as well as a nylon spacer between the piston and the piston head. Now that was uh, reducing the air volume in here, even though the AOE was good. Um, what I did was I took that out and upped the FPS back up to 310 with an M150, uh, which is better than what I was getting before because I'm using a shorter barrel now. Um, I believe I've identified the issue since the air seal is perfect, the timing is is fine, it feeds, it's it's pretty accurate. Uh, but I'm still having some volume voluming issues, so I'm going to um, get a garter board kit as a uh, commie kid did or Lewis Brill. Um, see how that works out for me. I know they're expensive, that's the only problem really, but with a try, I, I, I'm almost convinced that voluming is uh, barrel volume and cylinder volume. That's the issue I'm, I'm having because I've basically, i pretty much um, gone through everything else. Air seal is perfect, can't get any better. Um, there's no misalignment here. I mean, it's, it's fine. The timing is pretty good. Uh, I'm still working on the timing, actually. Let me take that back. Um, I'm experimenting with these. Uh, things I, I saw in Mikey's video, he had spacers uh, or the inner races for bearings onto the DSG, the tablet plate cam. And that, when I tried it, improved my um, feeding and accuracy a lot. Like the groupings were so much tighter and it was feeding uh, much better. Not that this gun doesn't feed, but sometimes you have to tilt the magazine. That's due to the air nozzle not moving far back enough, I think. So I'm gonna experiment with that. See, I didn't. I saw a small FPS drop when I um, tried that. So I'm going to get the bore up kit, then try that. See, see what happens. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a chrono test for you guys right now. The FPS is pretty inconsistent. Around 300 to 310. Sometimes it drops down to 290. But let's see. These are with 0.25s. Or I'm not sure. 0.2s or 0.25s. I think they're 0.25. Whoops, 297, 306, 307, 302, these are with point twos. What the hell was that? What the hell? What? Okay, as you can see, my chronograph is very old and it's failing on me. I think these are these are point two fives now. I was mixing them. Yeah, these are definitely point two fives at this point. It's not feeding every BB. This gun shoots fifty one RPS, uh, but right now it's not feeding. Um, like I said, I still have to mess up the timing a little bit. But also, this magazine isn't the greatest. I usually use mid caps, but there it is for you guys. As you can see, um, definitely identified the issue. It's definitely voluming. I was getting 220, 230 FPS before with point twos. Now I'm getting 307, 305, which is great. So, alright, guys, thanks for watching.